and I'm drinking coffee. Marco's Pizza delivered me, you guys. Or delivered me. <laughs> I just woke up. Marco's Pizza fired me. Yep. So, the reason they fired me is I had another problem with the car that I just had. Like, I literally went through like three or four cars that were breaking down. So, my car broke down again. A different car. So, I was able to make it to the car lot all the way from Venice Island. All the way down Placida to the car lot in Englewood. And I was able to get it there. And I told the guy, I said, listen, I don't mind paying you what you need for a car, but I need a car that works, obviously. So he gives me this other car, which is a Kia, and it works really, really good, you guys. So I'm on my way to the hospital now, and I just wanted to show up and let you guys know the other day when I was there, I was planning, I made a video, well, I made some clips, but I didn't finish the clips because my car broke down and it was just like super stressful. I was just like, cause like I was literally having to drive that car. Like when I would slow down, I'd have to put it in neutral so it wouldn't stall and then drive and then Cars are honking at me. They're cussing me. They're flipping me off. <laughs> One lady's like, do you know you're riding around with your, um, your flashers on? And I said, yeah, I'm good. It's okay. My car's just having problems. And people are laughing at me. I mean, <laughs> it was crazy. Now, do I know why this happened? No, absolutely not. I have no clue. But I do know that the universe, the universe provides for you, okay, when you're doing right. Divine powers are always working for you when you're doing right. So I always end up, it always ends up working out. So, and, and that just even builds my faith even stronger because I've been through these things multiple times and it, it, it just keeps working out, you guys. It's amazing. So, but anyways, that's okay. I didn't want to work there anyway. It was only a couple days a week and it was kind of pointless. It was putting all these miles on my car. So whatever. I trust the process, I trust the universe, and I know that everything is going to work out. So you guys, stay tuned. I will be back. I'm on my way to the hospital. So I want to do an update with you guys with Sean and let you guys know how he is because he had his lung surgery on Friday. So stay tuned. I will be back. Hey, my friends. I made it to the hospital, and if you notice, once again, I'm in a totally different car. It's a Kia. I really like it. Yeah, because my van, <laughs> the one that just got new rotors and tire rotation, broke down. I'm like, what is going on here? But it's okay, my friends, because I have another car now, and it's actually a lot better. So, God, the source, the universe, is always working for us, has our back when we're doing right. So, you guys, let's go see how Sean is. Yay! Blinded by the light, air blinded. Bad lie, bad lie, whoa, whoa.
creepy elevator you guys I'm used to it now <laughs> oh you guys I'm not sure if I told you but they did move him out of CCU he's now in a regular floor so that's awesome hopefully he's up for filming today so you guys can see how prayer works my friends it's absolutely amazing love you guys Hey, my friends, I made it up to the room. Sean's doing great, and look what we're watching. Well, it's a commercial now, but we were watching Chuck. <laughs> He's doing great. The prayers are working. Much love and gratitude to every single one of you for all of your support and all of your prayers. We got this, and God has our back. Prayers are real, and prayers work. Talk to you guys later. Peace. Seven day vegan challenge. So I'm going to get something to drink in the cafeteria because Sean is really tired and he keeps falling asleep. <laughs> okay, you guys, so the cafeteria is still closed. It doesn't open until 11. Sean's falling asleep. And he's saying, you're asking too many questions. <laughs> so he's kind of being a grump, which is understandable. He's in a lot of pain. Sorry about the wind. It seems pretty windy. So you guys, I wanted to get some hot tea or coffee or something because it is pretty early. So I'm going to walk across the street over here to this little shop and see if I can find something. So, just such a beautiful day outside today. <sighs> Thank you God, the source, the universe for this beautiful day. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. So stay tuned you guys because I will be back. And remember, no matter what you're going through, and it could be challenging, just breathe, just breathe and know that everything is working out in divine order. And the darker it gets, the stronger we will love. I know it, I feel it, I just know it my friends. So stay tuned because I will be back. Love you guys. So I found some hot coffee you guys, woohoo. Oh yeah, and a little table to sit at. I'm gonna take a couple sips of this and I'm gonna head back up there, but Sean, he's just so tired. He just keeps falling in and out of sleep. He's in a lot of pain and he's really tired. So it can be pretty boring here, but it's nice to just show up and share my good energy, love and support. I love every single one of you guys. So stay tuned. So you guys, I'm sitting here drinking my coffee and I notice, I pay attention to signs, my friends. I noticed three, two, three, nine, nine, ten, ten. And there's another three, so there's three, three, three. I've been seeing it everywhere. And two's my number. Then I look over here and I see lucky dog. And you know what, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I do feel kinda lucky. Even though, you know, my whole entire reality is shifting and changing, it's okay. I don't really believe in luck. I believe in everything happens in divine order, not by accident. Everything happens by the choices that we choose so determining on the choices that we make determines on which 
timeline we're going to be traveling down. So my friends, I've decided to stay on this layover. I'm not taking the direct flight. And it's absolutely amazing. Okay, I trust the process. I trust the universe and God so much that I quit my job, you guys, at Marcos. Okay, I don't work there. They treated me like crap. They weren't respectful. Um, my vibration definitely didn't resonate with it. So that's okay. I'm following my heart. And I know that God, the source, the universe will provide. I just know it, you guys. So stay tuned. I'm headed back over to the hospital. Love you guys. And real quick, <clears throat> replying to that last comment I made about quitting my job, the lady was going to fire me anyway. And what happened was I was having a problem with my car. I was on Venice Island. And so I called them to let them know what was going on. And <laughs> she said, you know what, Amanda? I don't care what problems you're facing. I don't care all the challenges that you're going through. I don't care about it. If you're not here by four o'clock, you're fired. So I said, okay. So I did everything that I could at a very fast, rapid rate by slowly managing to get my car back to the car lot switching it out for another car which is a Kia which is awesome I love this Kia then going home changing into my work clothes and I still made it there you guys two minutes early all for her the manager to say well I'm not sure if you can drive that car because technically it has a dealer tag on it <laughs> And I said, you know what? Are you even gonna put me on the schedule more than two days a week? And she was like, no. And she said, and honestly, I don't have time for this right now. She was like, you're fired. Just turn in your hat and your shirt when you pick up your paycheck. And I said, thank you, universe. <laughs> and everybody in there like totally stopped. Their mouth was dropped. And they were just like, wow, I know they were. I could feel it. <laughs> she said, don't forget to turn in your hat and your shirt. And I said, I definitely won't. Have a beautiful day. <laughs> and I left. So that's what happened, you guys. <laughs> it was just, it was a very crazy day. Be right back. So you guys, I want to show you this pumpkin. <sighs> Isn't that beautiful? I love art. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's exactly what I've been seeing in my dreams. I'm swimming, like wading through this. That's exactly what it looks like. So you guys, I'm sorry if it's windy or if it's loud, but I just had to come outside and get some fresh air. like I don't want to say negative energy or bad energy or anything like that but it's just a very low you know slow type of healing energy so I just had to step out of that hospital for a while as you guys know I'm an empath 
So, and just breathe in some of this good ass prana, baby. <laughs> So you guys stay tuned because I will be back and I am sending you guys tons of gratitude, tons of love for all of your prayers, all of your support, just everything, every single one of you, you know, we all have this amazing power and we're all on a different journey. So no judgments here, my friends. I love you guys. Peace. So you guys check out this place that I just found. It's like this empty place. They must have closed down. Like an old restaurant. But cool, it's like an, it kind of looks like an old style, um, like an old style diner. I mean, it's kind of cool. You could turn it into whatever you wanted. Oh, look, it says, junkyard dog underdog and it was a lucky dog so they probably sold hot dogs <laughs> but look at the seats I never even knew this thing was here lucky dog diner and look, it had like lights up here that probably lit up. It's pretty cool. But you could turn it into like a smoothie shop. Or something healthy, you know? So you guys, I'm gonna take off. If any of you guys out there are an empath and you ever have to go through hospitals, um, could you guys leave me a comment down below and let me know if sometimes you feel like you can literally feel what other people are feeling like you can feel it and, and then when you leave there and you go out into the fresh air it's like and then it starts to like the feelings start to like dissipate away or dissolve that's literally happens to me every time I go into this hospital and Sean um, he's just in a lot of pain, so he literally just had the surgery on Friday, and he has other tubes in his back and stuff too, so he's in a lot of pain. So he's on, you know, quite a bit of pain medication, so he's just in and out. So I spent three and a half hours, four hours there with him today, so... What's going on in my creepy elevator, you guys? I've been talking for a few minutes and it's not opening. So anyway, my friends, I think this is probably the car that I'm going to stick with and keep. It's a little bit of a newer car and there isn't anything wrong with it. I'm tired of going through cars that keep breaking. So thank you God for this. So you'll probably be seeing me do a lot of videos in this one. Anyway, you guys just have an awesome day wherever you are in any part of the world. 
wherever you find yourself to be in this now moment. And just know that everything happens in divine order. We got this. We are protected. And be well. Stay meditated. So you guys, I made it home. Now it's time to get ready for this Halloween walk. This is going to be funny because my son, he's only three, he wanted to be Optimus Prime. You know, the Transformer. But the only outfit that I could find is a little too big. So I'm going to see if I can maybe cut it and make it a little shorter. I mean, he's only three. We've tried it on a few times and he likes it. So let's see how this goes, you guys. <laughs> because the Halloween one probably, actually, definitely won't be on here until tomorrow because I'm going to have to put it all together and then edit it and everything. So it'll be up tomorrow. So stay posted. Stay tuned. I love you guys. Bye. So I'm super excited. Have a beautiful week. Don't miss out. Big Daddy Weave coming this week. It's going to be awesome. You'll see those details at thejoyfm.com. When you I need joy the most, we're there. Thank you so much for letting me know it's okay to not be okay.
even more powerful in numbers. So be mindful of that, my friends. <laughs> I'm just excited to see how this whole thing plays out because I'm not afraid. I live in love and I just know that I'm protected. I know that I'm blessed. I trust God, the source, the universe, and I'm truly grateful for everything that I have. And I'm so grateful that I have free will. I can do what I want, when I want, follow my heart, and do what I love. And every single one of us can. Nobody can force you to do anything. And when you fully trust, 100% the power of God, the source, the universe. So many opportunities and just out of the box things and just amazing miracles happen. It's so amazing, my friends. It's so powerful and it's you must believe. You must believe to receive. I love you guys. Speak with you guys later. Have an awesome day. Creative day. Be well. Stay meditated. And I will speak with you guys in the